Today we're going to be showing you how to make homemade Mexican salsa. Um, first we're going to be cutting these tomatoes, dicing them up um, pretty small but not too small but not too big. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you haven't. Um, hit the bell for notifications and let us know if there's anything that you would like us to make that we haven't already. So after you're going to slice all these tomatoes up the best that you can, now we're going to be putting them into this bowl. Just putting them all in there to kind of organize it better to put it inside of the blender. Next we're going to cut up some cilantro. The cilantro is not going to go um, into the blender, um, but this is going to go into the salsa once we have it finished so we're going to make sure that it's pretty chopped up and small so that it blends in well next we're going to cut up this onion um we're just going to use half we don't need a whole one make sure that you cut it pretty small probably s definitely smaller than the tomato but not too tiny since it's going to be blended anyways so just cutting this onion be careful not to cut your fingers. And then after we cut it up as best that we can, we're going to put it in a bowl so that we can put it um, in the blender too, just organizing it better. And after you get it all into the bowl, now we're going to be cutting a lime. We're going to be getting the juice out of it for um, to give it that, you know, acidic flavor. We just did half of a lime. Next, we're going to be blending it. So first we have these canned tomatoes. You can use um, canned diced tomatoes or canned whole tomatoes. We did whole tomatoes. And then we have the cut tomatoes that we cut up, the onions that we cut up, and the lime juice. Then this clove of garlic, some cilantro that we did not chop up, just going to push that down with a spoon to make sure that it's incorporated well into the blender so it gets it all. I'm going to put the lid on and blend. Just make sure that you blend it. You don't want to make it like, you know, super watery. You still want to have like some chunks in there, but next we're going to add this consomate cube and powder which you can find at Walmart. And we're gonna blend it again. Make sure that's nice um, and blended. That cube gets down there in the, in the blender. And then now we're gonna add some salt and blend that again. And you guys can add more salt if you try it and you feel like it needs a little more salt or if it has too much salt, you can add some sugar. Um, next, we're going to add these tomatoes that we diced up, um, super tiny, just to have some extra chunks in there to give it more flavor. After the tomatoes, we're going to add in this cilantro that we chopped up in the very beginning, um, just to give it more flavor too, because you can never have too much cilantro. And then we're going to stir it to make sure that it's mixed well. Um... And as you can see, the consistency is good. It's not too thick. It's not too thin. I'm just going to pour it into a bowl here on this plate. Looks really good. It turned out so yummy. Don't get it too full. And then now we're going to add our um, chips, our Mexican tortilla chips. And then there you guys have it. It is this super delicious, yummy Mexican salsa.